What are you? His jealous bitchy girlfriend? <gasps> This is Aroma here. Welcome back to Fujiwara Bittersweet. We're about to go home. May 17th. Okay, today I'll talk to Suzuki. I'm full of determination as I enter classroom and greet my classmates. Ichigo, Suzuki, hello. Wow, you're pretty energetic this morning. Hello. She answered, but I quickly realized that she was staring hard at me before averting her eyes from mine. Say, Aya. I shoot a confused look at Ichigo, who's smiling back at me. Yes? What is it? I don't dislike you that much. What? Say nothing. So, also, from now on, call me Haru or whatever you want. She said, does this mean, are, are we friends now? She timidly looks at me and gives me her response, almost like a whisper. Yes. Hot <laughs> John, you're so cute. Can I take you home? Wait, I want to hug you first. Cut it out. I want to hug her too, but I have to restrain myself. Haru. It feels strange that I expected saying her name out loud. Uh, uh, sorry. It feels stranger than I expected saying her name out loud. And she looks embarrassed as well. Cute. Well, what? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm really happy. Somehow I feel like now I'll be able to be friends with Iki too. I smile like an idiot at my desk when the teacher enters the room and announces that today's class will be replaced by the class rep election. Anyway, I don't know how long it will take, so class will conclude after that. Well then, are there any volunteers for the girls? Wait, nobody's going to apply. If nobody actually applies, the teacher will pick someone out. At, someone at random. That's unfair. Please don't let it be me. I was praying that when... Yes, yes, I'll do it. What? Ichiko is applying on her own. Okay, so we have Susu and nobody else? Really? Well, I think she'll make a cool class rap. Yes, she's fun and open-minded. There are more shouts from both boys and girls. I'll say that Ichigo will be a good choice. Well, if nobody has any objections, then it's decided. Susu is now officially the class rep for the girls. Yay, thanks! Now for the boys. Tachibana immediately raises his hand. Somehow, I'm not really surprised. Yes, please. I'd like to apply for, the, for this post. Suddenly, several girls' hands raise up as well, and they start to complain about the girls' election result, saying that they want to apply too, and we should redo it by voting. <sighs> I heard from the other teachers that you guys are a difficult class. However, I will not be as easygoing as my colleagues. Susu was elected unanimously in the decision stands. Despite the girls' part starting to whine, the teacher is resolute, and Tachibana and Ichigo are now our class reps. Okay, it's settled. I'm leaving now. You're, feel you're free for the rest of the period. Wow. Imagine having that as a class. Okay, who, who wants to be class president? Alright, done? Okay, just chill. <laughs> That's all he says, and then he just walks out of the room. What? That's all? We don't have to talk about what to do or anything? Maybe later? Susu, I'm happy to work with you. Please take care of me. So formal, but yes, same here. May 26, club activities. Ugh. What? Well... Why are you here? Go away. Well, hey, I'm here because I have club activities, you know? I don't care. Go away. <laughs> hey, you... I don't mind having visitors, but don't bother the actual members. Thank you. Ha. Huh. Do you have a problem? Yeah, I'm gonna screenshot this. Because <laughs> I don't know if there's gonna be other ones. Uh, yes. Whatever. If I'd known that Toshio, Toshio was in the club room, I probably wouldn't have opened the door. Why the hell are you so rude to Toya? Shut up. Toshio, stop it already and get out. No, I have business here. If you have business here, at least be polite to the club president. This seriously pissed me off. The atmosphere is so tense. This guy is much harder to handle than Iki. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm about to snap back when suddenly... Sorry I'm late, Prez. I bumped into some chicks who <laughs> didn't want to let me go in. What? Toshi, what are you doing here? Nothing special. Are you a masochist or what? What? You hate Aya, but you're here anyway. Well, you can stay, but don't fight, okay guys? Okay? As long as she stays away from me. That means she can't be near Iki either. Exactly. Sorry, Aya, you can't talk to Iki today. What? Are we really accepting this? Why are you not bothered by his behavior? I am. He's a real pain, but it can't be helped. I really don't understand what they're thinking. Are you okay with that, Iki? Don't talk to him. Yo, Iki is a man of his own. He's not a dog. <laughs> What are you? His jealous bitchy girlfriend? <gasps> Mind your own business. Toshio, you're really annoying. 
Uh, Toshi, this only happened with Aki. Aki? Or... Iki? Not really. Aki? Who's Aki? You're definitely lying. What happened? He's angry. What did you do again? Poor Aki. It wasn't my fault. I know it's not easy for you both, but try to be more considerate of his feelings about the situation. What the hell is going on? You're now totally ignoring me, and who is this Aki? Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> Seems we'll be working with just the two of us today. Sorry about that guy, but I can't really argue with him. I don't like uh, how he acts, but it seems he's important to Iki and Ryu, so I'm not sure what I can do. That's like a three baggage right there. Nobody can approach him anyway. Seems like it's going to be harder than I expected to become friends with this bunch. I turn my gaze to the three of them. Iki and Toshio aren't exactly smiling, but when Ryu is here, they at least seem to relax a bit. Is something wrong? Not really, I was just a bit curious about them. I see. Well, I can't stop you from being curious, but just be careful with them, okay? Careful? I'll, I'll try. What the fuck am I stepping into? <laughs> and like that, a few hours later, the club activities come to an end. Already? I didn't do an ounce of club work. Look, he, how is my origami? Awful. What is this? A, <laughs> a poop? It's a cupcake, you idiot. Is it even possible to make an origami cupcake shaped? It is, but not when you have Toshio's skill level. <laughs> oh crap, I laughed. All three of them, Toyo, Toya turned to, to me at the same time. She laughed at you, Toshi. What? No, I mean Iki. It was Iki's comment. Ryu thinks the origami brings it over to me. His face amused. But look at this, it really looks like a poop. Well, you're right, this isn't a cupcake at all. I can't help but laugh again, and this time I'm joined by Ryu and Toya. I don't know why, but I'm laughing so hard I can't stop. <laughs> How is it possible? But in a way, it's a well-made turd. I can't stop my stomach, my cheeks, I'm dying. Bro, I'm gonna get hammed on. I'm sorry, I can't control my laughter either. It's not you, Toshio, I swear. This isn't funny, stop that. I look at him. Mr. Jerk is pouting, and although I hate to admit it, he's kind of cute when he with, with his sulking face. Oh, is Iki laughing too? What are you, what, are you laughing too? I'm not. You traitor! Oh no, did I miss seeing Iki laugh? What a shame. Enough, I'm leaving. Oh no, Toshi, are you upset? Well anyway, if you are leaving, wait for us at the entrance. We need to clean the room before we go going home. No? Alright, I'll wait. Good boy, see you later, peace. <laughs> Just let good boy go. Toshio, that boy's pretty obedient when it comes to Iki and Ryu. That's strange. One more mystery to solve. So what is this mystery I'm going to be solving? We eventually finish cleaning, say goodbye to Toya, and meet up with Toshio at the second uh, at the second gate, at the school gate. Ugh, she's still here. Which way are you going, Aya? This way. Awesome, we're all walking in the same direction. Come with us. No, thank you. I'd rather hang myself- <gasps> Bitch! <laughs> I'd rather hang myself than walk home with that thing. Dude, Toshio, chill out! I'm not even human to you, am I? Exactly. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw hands on your out. I don't want to either, she's annoying. Yo! Stop! No, no, guys. Toshi, if you're nice, I'll buy you some sweets along the way, okay? Sweets? What kind of sweets? Okay, okay. Bitch. The kind that you really love. I might consider compromise then. Seriously? Does that mean that he loves sweets more than he eats me? Iki? You? Iki sighs resigned. Okay, fine. Wait, he likes sweets too? I quietly follow them, watching them all having fun without paying any attention to me. Well, it's not- it's- well, it's what I expected after all. Yo, what's with the long face? Nothing special. Am I feeling lonely? Yeah, I'm sad as shit! You guys are leaving me out of the loop. So you can tell. Cheer up, I'll buy you something delicious too! Why is Toshio glaring at me like that? It's fine, don't buy me anything. And Iki seems a bit surprised too. Are you buying- are you going to buy her something? Yeah, why not? Nothing, just like, you know. So it's, so, it's like that. What? You don't feel special? What are they talking about? Come on, guys, don't be so vague. You'll scare her, jeez. What is it? Nothing, don't worry. It's just that you're about to be the first one to know our secret place. Secret place? Yeah, are you excited? Uh, yes. <laughs> but if it's a special place for you, is it okay for me to go there? It's fine, it's fine. If Ryu is okay with it, 
I'm totally against it. Why so suddenly? Why her? Because I like her. She's cute. I don't. She's ugly. Bitch. Have you... Well, you're cute, so I can't be like, have you looked in the mirror, bitch? Just like the other... <laughs> just like all the other women in the universe. Oh, what the fuck? I don't acknowledge her. Hey! Well, you don't really acknowledge anyone, so who cares? <laughs> what? I don't have any clue as to why he hates me so much. Dude, yeah, you don't even know anything about me. As always, just being near him is enough to piss me off. Well, just so you know, I don't like you either. <laughs> Shut up. With that warning, he abruptly flings his school bag at- BITCH! It smacks hard into my face and since he's stumbling back- Oh my god. This bitch. I have just enough time to regain my balance when I see him stalking towards me, radiating menace. This jerk! Apparently, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl hitting on another person. I'm getting ready to fight back, but Iki quickly steps in front of- What? In front of me, interposing himself between me and the rampaging Toshio. Toshi, stop it now. But if you're of all your if all you're going to do is pick useless fights and just go somewhere else, I can't I can't I can't read Iki because like one point he's like okay with us and then one point he's like ugh she's annoying and then this point my heart I I'm confused. Toshio glares daggers at me, angrily snatching his, his bag up from the ground near my feet. He's obviously furious about what just happened. Aw, Toshi baby, are you leaving? What about your sweets? Fuck off, all of you. Okay. Well, he's pretty angry. He didn't help. Nah. Maybe you should... Anyway, let's go. Yeah, I'm hungry. Right. <laughs> I guess this is just another day of Toshio just melting down, I guess. They don't really look like they're worried about Toshio. Let's go, Aya. Uh, okay. Are we sure? I follow them until we reach the dessert shop. Where you and Iki cho 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 choose crepes while I go for an ice cream. What? An ice cream? I want a crepe. Thanks for buying this for me, Ryo. I'll pay you back as soon as, 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 as soon as possible. No, it's okay. Now hurry before the sun sets. Huh? Ryo grabs my hand and starts to walk. Starts to walk. Faster, pulling me along. Where, where, where the fuck are we? <laughs> in about two minutes, we arrive at a huge, impressive house and enter to discover it's even more impressive on the inside. It's full of expensive looking antique furniture and the walls are covered in carefully hung art pieces. Wow, the people who live here must be wealthy. But wait, Ryu, what are, what are you doing? Where are we? Is it okay for us to be here? What are you talking about? This is my home. What the fuck? <laughs> it's totally okay. What? I gape at him in surprise, but he just ignores me and starts walking down the enormous fancy hall. I just entered a random house. I'm back! Iki's here and I brought another friend! I turn to Iki confused. Is this really his house? Yeah? Wait, are you- Are three of you rich boys? <laughs> As if to confirm, an older woman looks to be in her 60s appears in front of us, a surprised look on her face. Well, bye! You brought a girl home. Oh, girl home? I think this is the first time. What? Really? Hello, my name is Aya Kobayashi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Miss Kobayashi. Ryo, you should have called to say you th that you were bringing friends. I have no snacks to offer them. Uh, I have snacks already. <laughs> no, that's okay. Don't worry. Dad's not here. He's still at the hospital. He has a lot of work these days. Ah, uh, so he's a doctor? Or surgeon? Or nurse? Or anything else? <laughs> then she turns to us. Iki, I heard that you were spending more time at the hospital too these days. I really hope that everything will be fine for you soon. What's going on? Something going on with his parents? It's not him, is it? Thank you, I hope so too. Imagine if it's him and he only has like this year to live and then he dies on us. What? Is he sick? I hope I, what I said wasn't true. Anyway, we're going to the roof. Okay, I'll bring you tea and I think there are still some biscuits somewhere. Once again, Ryu prompt us to hurry. We follow him to the second floor, then out onto the roof. Wow. He is living rich, rich. Wow. Whoa. More like, whoa, not wow. The roof is more like a big fancy balcony than what I was imagining. Or rather like a garden. This is amazing. It's our special place. Oh, this is where they hang out. He lays down on one of the sofas and I perch on a seat next to him. Just then, Iki pats me on the shoulder and motions with his chin up toward the horizon. Well, Iki, we're sharing- we're, 
we're, <laughs> we're sharing, sharing the same sun. We're staring at the same sunset. Was what I was trying to say. I follow this case and can't help but be, be even more amazed. The sky's color are beautiful. Colors are changing beautifully, painting a delicate square of wonderful pinks and oranges above our heads. This is so cool. The sunset is really nice. I know, right? I kind of understand now why Toshio was angry. We aren't even close with each other, and you're showing me your precious secret face. It would be cool if he was a bit more open. Dude, you're pretty moody yourself sometimes, you know? Hey. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to see if my help is needed in the kitchen. I'll be back soon. And then he disappears on the stairs. We're gonna take a screenshot here because this is gonna be the photo. But anyway, this is where we're gonna end today's episode off. Staring at the beautiful sunset with um Iki here. Feel bad for Toshio, but then I also don't feel bad because the bitch threw his school bag in my face. And I'm pretty sure that school bag was pretty heavy. Surprised my face didn't get fucked up. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.